What's up everyone, this is Tony Shu, and today we're gonna take a look at the Nike SB Dunk High New York Mets. Let's get a shoe tube. Before we get into this video guys, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button. If you your content, hit subscribe. So today's video is a very special one. Today we are going to go over the Nike SB Dunk New York Mets. So, as some of you may or may not have noticed, I've worn this New York Mets hat many, many times because I am a big New York Mets fan. Now, this season specifically has been pretty exciting for us so far. We're going to the All-Star break pretty soon, and we're looking like we're probably going to be somewhere towards the top of the NL East, as well as just the NL. So, SB Dunk, high PRM. Cloud gray, rush blue for the box, size 12. Take a look at the label. Now, the sneaker comes pre-laced with these gray pair of laces right here. I went ahead and swapped them out because they do come with the orange and blue. I swapped them out and actually I've only I've already worn these already. These come out, I believe this Thursday, July 14th on sneakers app. I got them about two or three weeks ago now on stock x and i got them for just a little over retail so it wasn't so bad i honestly wasn't super confident that we're going to be dropping on sneakers but you know here we are they're coming up with sneakers this is what it is as you can tell i went ahead and laced them with the blue as well as the orange what do you guys think blue orange pretty pretty simple sneaker very very understated now this is actually one of four sneakers that are coming out for the Major League Baseball. We have the New York Mets one, we have the Philadelphia Phillies one, we have the LA Dodgers one, as well as the San Francisco Giants one. All of them, honestly, from pictures, pretty nice, pretty, pretty beautiful looking. Um, the New York Mets one, in my opinion, probably is one of the more subtle, plain ones. And also the Dodgers one's very, very plain as well. Um, Giants, kind of the same thing as us. It's just, you know, a lot of the cream, gray, off-white colors, very muted. The Phillies one, as much as I hate the Phillies, their, their SP Dunk, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's too bad the team sucks. So going around a sneaker, you have a pretty, pretty nice uh, new buck on most of the panels here. On the um, quarter panel here, you have a new buck. You have a new buck here on the mud guard. As well as on the lace stays up here, you have the new buck as well. Now on the swoosh here, you have blue with orange to kind of go with the New York Mets theme. Pretty nice. The laces here on the top of the laces, they have the other side of the corresponding color. So the orange laces, you have the blue tip. Blue laces, you have the orange tip. On the tongue, you have a Nike SB Dunk High Pro. As well as on the back of the tongue, you had these little touches for the sports team. Left shoe, you have seven for the seven train that runs into City Field. And on the right shoe, you have the Apple Home Run, which is a symbol for the New York Mets. It st started off at Shea, moved over to City Field, and it's the little apple that comes out whenever someone hits a home run. Hey, Ron, walk off home run. Probably one of my favorite aspects of any shoe, really, is how you have the gum bottom. So you, the gum sole is just. It's just a nice, clean aesthetic. It gives it a really nice, in my opinion, kind of like a nice regal 
feel. You know, a lot of like the Air Force ones that have that are really nice. A lot of the old school Nikes. Gum bottoms. <sighs> Beautiful. Love it. And then one more thing, which is a something that they've stamped onto every single one of these shoes in this baseball collection is on the back. On the outsole, you have a piece here where it's supposed to give the impression that it's a piece of bubble gum. So a little pink bubble gum, or bubble yum, bubble gum is probably stuck on the bottom of the shoe. Just pretty, pretty nice touch. I'm, I'm kind of a big fan of that. Overall, it's a really, really nice low-key wearable sneaker honestly i have been wearing this already probably a bunch i mean i don't know if you guys can tell already there's already a little bit of dirt on the bottoms i've been wearing this pretty much everywhere you know running errands i went to the zoo with my daughter my and my wife um just go around town with it i mean this is, this is a nice color you know gray a gray dunk always something that's gonna be nice to wear the gray laces on the, on top of it you can sort of swap them out for black laces probably go with white laces you can go with any kind of color like this with the gray shoe, it's gonna work. So pretty, pretty nice that way. And FYI, these shoes actually do run pretty true to size. Uh, I'm a true to size 12 and a half, and I went with the 12, which is I normally do with a lot of my Nikes, Nike Dunks, Jordans. I usually go half size down because 12 and a half is usually impossible to get. But this actually does fit so true to size. A lot of SBs for me fit a little tighter. This one does fit true to size, which is very nice. Again, like I said before in the beginning of the video, this shoe comes out. July 14th on Sneakers app. Go ahead and shoot your shot. I'm not sure what the stock's going to be, but I'm going to assume Nike probably allocated most of their stock to local skate shops, which is the reason why I really didn't want to wait for this because I knew that if it went to local skate shops, I would probably have no chance at all to get it. So I said, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and get it from the resale market, which I hate doing, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. And it wasn't that expensive, to be honest with you. I believe retail is $130 US, which again, that's pretty much a standard for Nike dunks these days. You're looking at 100, 110, 120, 130 for some of the more premium SPs. Um, and this is kind of qualified as one. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I appreciate the love and support as always. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and smash that like button. In future content, hit the subscribe. Until next time, see ya.